All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a pattern for a six inch Atlas compound slide. So let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, so the next step, I want to fill in this T slot. I'm going to fill in the wide part of it first. I got to plane this down a little bit. Uh, this piece is just about the right height to fill all the way up to the top of this, and then I can glue another piece to the top here. Probably tack it down with some uh, braids or something like that. Take our handy dandy scrub plane. The rule of thumb is if you can saw it off, it's best. Anything too thin to saw should be planed. Just a little bit over an inch and an eighth. Same here, I think. Yep. All right. Let's have a look at this. I got to fire my metrologist. Yeah. All right. Now well, let's put another line on here. There's times when being able to do stuff by hand is kind of really the only way you can get it done. You can sure get it done faster. If you're making a whole lot of something, you know, setting up a jig and running things on a table saw or something like that is fine, but a lot of this stuff, it's all hand fit. It's hard to be very, very fussy and detail oriented when things are Spin it at 10,000 RPMs. All right, let's smooth that. All right. Let's see if we got her parallel or not. I can see it. I don't think I did. Yeah, we're about a sixteenth thick at this side. All right, so it's about 3 sixteenths off of each side here, so we have a little tiny piece of wood to hang on to. Okay, so what I've done, I've got my part here, and I'm using this board, it's nice and straight as a fence. I've got it lined up right on my, my groove, and then we've got the other markers down here, and we're gonna take this plane, and we hold it against this fence, to take a little bit deeper than that. Gotta get it adjusted here the first couple goes. Starting to cut a little now. Let's see if we can probably go a little bit heavier than that. Pine cuts easy. Right, so I uh, I had to fit this just a little bit. Um, the T part here was a little bit wide, and this was not quite deep enough. But you know that it's always good to leave extra material on because you can always take it off. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to put it back on. Anyway, so I got this thing here now fitting where it slides in there. It's nice and snug too. Once you get to the ends, really tight. And uh, anyway, we'll just have to trim that off. And then uh, when I make this top piece, I can use like some brads or something and, and uh, tap it onto there. Probably this all get epoxied together. If you guys enjoyed seeing these patterns get built, please click on the horizontal mill icon here. Get yourself subscribed and make sure to come back for the next episode. We'll see you guys around.